This is JD from NGen Squared. Today we're going to show you one tool every Unity developer, Unreal developer, and CAD designer should have in their arsenal. Let's get to it. If you haven't heard of it already, then you know now. This tool is a 3D mouse, namely the Space Mouse Enterprise. This is currently the top tier 3D mouse on the market, predominantly used in the design industry, but they have very credible applications in the 3D art and game development industries. Let's get to opening this. So we're going to see what's in the box and then we're going to see how it performs with a few different software. It's a quick start guide. We got the driver downloaded already. Pretty nice packaging. Here it is all wrapped up. Now I'll take it out of this protecting cover here. Looks awesome. So at Engine Squared, we're already a user of these products. However, this is the first time I'm trying this specific top tier model. On the one side of the Space Mouse Enterprise, we have the Space Mouse Compact, which we use for mobile applications. This is nice and convenient to deploy in meetings and when you're on the go. On the other side, we have the Space Mouse Pro, which was our previous desktop solution. As you can see, it's quite an upgrade to get the Enterprise, where you have several more buttons and the display interface. Let's test it out and see how it performs. Immediately upon plugging it in, the blue LED lights up and the screen turns on. So turning down the brightness, you see there's a few convenient features. So let's first give it a shot with Unity. Currently we have this robot simulation cell. As you can see, as soon as I touch the space mouse, it's in full operation. So let's hit play, see if we can pan around. If you're a Unity developer using Unity for industrial applications, game design, or 3D art, we highly recommend this tool for panning around your models, especially if you're putting more than three hours a day dedicated to reconfiguring a 3D environment. As you can see live, I can use a 3D mouse to pan around RoboDK. This comes in really handy when it comes to reconfiguring 3D targets. Now we're gonna run on shape. As you can see, we have this WorkDeck platform 3D model, and we're purely navigating with the space mouse. Switching to perspective view, let's now get a closer look. As you can see, we can get into these corners for the model that would be otherwise difficult with the conventional mouse and keyboard setup. When you're working with large 3D assemblies, having this convenience makes your workflow much more efficient both from the documentation and 3D modeling creation aspects. We're gonna give this a test with Rhino. As you can see, we can jump right in and navigate as we wish. This type of navigation that you're seeing here would be extremely difficult with a conventional mouse. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe so you can keep posted with the videos we have coming up in the future that show specific applications where the 3D mouse gives a significant design advantage and why it should be your next tool. See the links in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.